Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to uh, Ocean Deep Fishing. I'm your host Ed Frolish and, and thanks for tuning in. So today we got up early. It's a Sunday. Unusual for me to be out on a Sunday because I usually don't like the traffic. Um, but um, work schedule just permitted me to get off on a Sunday today. So, so from the house we've headed west. We're on the west coast. We are in Crystal River, Florida. So anyway, our plan today is we're going to go out. We're going to catch some bait. And then I'm going to take a trip, about a 15-mile run, to Yankee Town. Um, I haven't fished there in probably 20-some years. I have some spots out there that I used to fish that hold grouper. So our objective today is to troll for some grouper, see if we can put at least one in the box. And that's our objective for today. So uh, stick around, wish me luck, and let's see what happens. We're going to roll that intro, and then we're going to get right into the fishing. Pretty. Oh, are you serious? Uh, what we came for, Pompano. Oh yeah, that's a nice one there. Look at that size of that fish there. Woo! Let me not take him out of the water. There we go. A little peanut. Look at that one, baby! That's oh. got to be 20 pounds. Oh man, it's a Woo. Oh man. All right. Woo! King mackerel. Yeah, there's a nice king mackerel, buddy. All right, guys, so we are out of Crystal River. We just got out of the channel. We're just past marker one, and I marked some bait that's on the bottom. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give it about a half an hour. We're gonna, I'm gonna put a chum block out and uh, start trying to uh, draw in some pinfish. Uh, gonna probably use a little hook with a little piece of bait to uh, start catching them in maybe in a half an hour, maybe 20 minutes. If I start to catch them on hook and line, then I'm going to throw the cast net out, see if we can't get a couple dozen, and then we're going to head over to um, head over to Yankee Town. All right, so I'm going to let me deploy the uh, chum bag. All right, we got the chum box in here. This is our uh, net. We're going to just put it in there and throw it in the water. Start drawing these pinfish here, hopefully. Drop it right in the net. Exploding up there. We got it. It's a fast moving current here too, so hopefully uh it doesn't push it um 200 yards back there. Okay, it's really windy today too, so the seas aren't bad though. It's coming out right now, it's uh coming out of the uh, looks like the north or north uh, east so I'll try to keep it out of the wind as best I can all right we're gonna give it a shot when we start catching some pinfish we'll bring it to you okay guys we couldn't catch anything we caught a, just a couple with the net um, the current's just moving here so fast um, but anyway we went to a hook and line I've caught three pinfish we're gonna see if we can get another one on here buddy. so this is what I'm using got um, three little split shots and I'm cutting um, the gulp shrimp into little tiny bites with a small hook long shank tiny little bait hook okay we got one we got one now targeted bait fish pin fish there we go That's 
That's what I'm looking for right there. Beautiful bait, just the right size for grouper. All right, we come across a little bit of structure on the way over to Yankee Town. So I figured I'd just troll here, see what happens. We're trolling at like uh, between four and five knots. Showing some nice bottom, not too many fish, but. We got a fish on. Hopefully a grouper. And hopefully he measures. He doesn't feel very big though. Unexpected, but a nice, uh, a nice thing. So um, we're gonna get uh, turned around and start this again. I gotta clean up a little bit. Okay, guys. So what we're using? I just got a stretch 25 chartreuse on a short piece of wire, two foot piece of wire. All right, let's go do this again. jittering like that it's working right we're gonna get it back up to five miles an hour now we're going over some good structure right now so that lowers about 100 feet back behind this structure we just went over oh there it is again we got it. oh we got another one we got another one oh man I don't know if that's bottom. Oh no. fish we got structure <laughs> trying to see if we get some <clears throat> a live action hookup maybe We're coming over some structure see some fish in the water column so let's see what happens I got a fish guys, I've been dragging him for a while because I'm tying up a new line. So I don't know what he is. I hope it's a grouper. And I hope he fits the bill for 24 inches. Yeah, he looks small, whatever it is. Too small though. 
too small. Sorry, buddy. I did not know. Anyway, there he is, a nice little grouper. I don't know where I picked him up at. I was tying a rig. I've been dragging him with the boat for I don't know how long. Uh, okay, well, we know this lure works, so I'm putting him down. Well, hang on a minute. I'm gonna run out. Uh, I'm gonna run out a little bit. I want to get into um, 20 foot of water out here and see if I can find a rock pile or not.
Oh, well, we made it through the worst part of it. Now it's starting to clear up. The seas are a little bit rough still, but they're not blowing on a hard chop. So, we got uh, seven miles to go yet. All right, we'll, we'll catch you when we get into the river where it's a little more calm. Okay guys, that's going to do it for uh, this video. Um, we didn't have all that great of luck, but um, I pretty much accomplished what I wanted to do other than take a grouper home. Uh, but I did, um, I did find some uh, spots that we could come back in the winter time. I marked them on my GPS. Uh, got a couple hits over some of the rocks that we found. So that was good. Um, Caught a nice Spanish mackerel. We're going to take that home and have that for dinner. Uh, everything else was pretty good. Uh, that rainstorm. <laughs> Woo, that, was a, that was a doozy. That was probably the roughest one I've been in in a while. Uh, but uh, hey, we made it home. Everybody's safe. Uh, so that's a good thing. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, please, if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until we see you next time, tight lines, everybody. Stay safe. God bless. See you on the next one.